It was just over a month ago that a young man went on a shooting rampage near the University of California, Santa Barbara. He killed six people before taking his own life. Now the parents of the first two victims, George Chen and David Wang, are breaking their silence. CBS 2's Dana Tyler has more on the parents' pain. We have love in our heart, tears in our eyes, responsibility on our shoulder, and we hear the voice from our children from heaven. They did not plan to speak out after their sons were brutally killed. Their life was so short, so tragically taken. But these parents tell CBS News correspondent Ben Tracy they feel a responsibility to help prevent future tragedies. It's the time for all, all Americans to wake up, to do our own part. So maybe it's too late for our children, but it is not too late for all the Americans. Charlie and Jane Wang had just one son under China's one-child policy. The family came to America to give David a better education. He was close friends with James Hong and George Chen. They wanted to be computer engineers, but they were the first victims killed in the campus rampage. Your sons were all beautiful people with great minds and kind hearts. George Chen's mom, Kelly, treasures a letter written by the boys' college classmates. They loved and were loved and will forever be remembered as the magnificent men you raised them to be. These parents feel the only way to stop the series of mass killings that has plagued this country is for families to be more involved in their kids' lives and to better monitor their mental health. The parents believe the tragedy could have been prevented. Yes, there are several opportunities missed. They feel the family of alleged killer Elliot Roger did not do enough to help him and are outraged by media attention focused on the killer and an upcoming interview with his father, Peter Roger. Roger met with Richard Martinez, whose son was a victim. But these parents say they have not heard from Roger's family and want them to say something. We want to hear some personal condolence and apologize. And this is minimum they should do. After CBS News reached out to Peter Roger for comment late Wednesday, he sent the families a letter of apology. The loss of our sons are unbearable. The parents say again, as painful as it is for them to speak out, they just don't want any other families to suffer the same tragedy.